Mama, woo! She is fired up right now. Whoa! We'll get you back in there, Mama. Good job. Oh. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope this start your day is absolutely incredible. I'm actually gonna head over to BHB and we have to collect a few ball python clutches here in a minute. But I wanted to make this a little bit of an update vlog, if you guys don't mind. And I am standing in front of Lucy and I wanted to tell you she is doing amazing. You guys that have been following along know all of the drama that has happened with her egg binding and then eventually she passing and then now eating and doing well. I did want to update you just so you guys know, Lucy has bred for the last time. Absolutely will not take any risk of breeding my beautiful girl Lucy again. There is no doubt I'm not gonna take that risk. So for those of you that have asked like, will you breed Lucy in the future? The answer is no, she's done. We're just gonna keep her now that she's back at work. I don't wanna take any chances of ever losing that girl again. With that said, let's go ahead and pull some ball python clutches. Promise I'm down here in the dungeon with Kelsey and we have some clutches of ball pythons. What's the first one? Up first is a sham pin female bred to a calico pin yellow belly and an enchi pin banana. Okay. Okay, so we don't know what's gonna happen there, but that's cool. And I love this girl. I remember having her since she was an absolute baby, and she is a beastie. Look at her, and look at these eggs in there. Woohoo! Absolutely amazing. So let's see what we have. All right, look at that. Wow, oh, good clutch. nice, beautiful clutch. She is such a gorgeous animal. And again, when these hatch out, we'll know what the father is, but either way, that's pretty amazing. Oh my God, look at those beautiful big eggs. And it's really awesome because remember, yesterday we had some fertility issues where we just had some bad fertility, which is just weird because all year our fertility has been really, really good. So I'm glad that we're back to 100% fertile clutch. You can see these eggs might have got rolled just a little bit, so we'll candle them just to make sure. But how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven beautiful eggs. I cannot wait. Oh, and for those of you that want egg cutting, we're less than three weeks away from the first clutch that we can actually cut. I know a lot of you guys are really interested in my Reptile Tycoon breeding app. So if you wanna be a snake breeder kinda of on a cyber level, that's right, we're making an app that was supposed to launch the closed beta a couple weeks back, but we decided to do a big change where you basically could become a breeder where you have your own snakes, you put them together, you hatch babies, uh, and you grow your collection. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And basically what it'll be is you'll be able to go in and you'll clean the cage, you'll change the waters, you'll feed the snakes, and as they're healthy, you can actually put them together Together, get eggs and then hatch those eggs and basically what ends up happening is that as you hatch them you can sell them you could trade them to other players and uh, grow your colony from uh, your bedroom to a building to a big facility and then eventually maybe even open up a reptarium I think it's just gonna be really cool but because we wanted to kind of change the whole idea of the game a little bit a couple weeks ago it's kind of pushed off so it looks like we're about two and a half maybe three weeks tops from launching closed beta we have a bunch of people already signed up for that so it's gonna be absolutely amazing and then we'll be in the closed beta phase for a short period of time, maybe a month, month and a half, and then we'll make all our fixes. All the suggestions that people are playing the closed beta will be implemented, and then with any luck, by the end of summer, we'll be able to launch to everyone, and you guys can be a snake breeder, a reptile breeder, whatever the case may be. Uh, I can't wait. This is It's really one of the most exciting things I've done in a long time. This game's been in my mind for probably five years. So the fact that we're so close to kind of launching it is pretty exciting. Now this next clutch is pretty interesting and again it shows you how like the egg binding thing can happen or not happen and why at first I wasn't worried about Lucy at all is that this girl here, this pastel yellow belly actually laid one egg, I don't know, five or six days ago and sure enough today, look at she's wrapped around a clutch. Look at that. Perfect, so that she looks mm -hmm. great. And what was she bred to? She was bred to a dragonfly. Okay, a dragonfly, all right, good. So we could get some super dragonflies and a whole bunch of different stuff, super flies and so on like that. So let's go ahead, oh mama, woo! She is fired up right now, whoa! And I tell you what, mama was definitely not happy about that at all. What do we have here? We have five eggs, so six in total. Six in total, and what's interesting is you can see this egg was laid four or five days ago, so what's interesting, is that egg early or is these eggs late? Regardless, if they're late, we might have a problem with the clutch, but they look so good. My gut feeling is this one might have been a little bit early, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of this clutch. I couldn't be more excited. One week from day starts the new era in the vlog. That's right, my buddy Jay that does all those really beautiful shots, and I've been trying my best to kind of copy him a little bit with shots like this. I've always 
love telling the story and I've always been into cinematography and just kind of beautiful shots but the fact is when I'm a one-man team there's only so much I can do you know I have to film I have to edit I have to set up a tripod everything like that and the fact is is that having a second person is going to be absolutely amazing I think it's going to take the storytelling the kind of overall beauty of the vlog to the next level but with that said we listened to a few things that you guys said when we did that kind of six-day experiment a month ago we're definitely going to have a lot more first person with me just kind of talking to you just like I am now we're going to definitely work on the music volumes and all that stuff but I'm telling you we have so much amazing things planned it's going to really take the vlog to the next level and not just the vlog I'll tell you more about that in a little bit one of the things we want to do and I need some help from you guys is we want to start doing a little bit of Q&A just adding it here and there maybe once a week once every couple weeks whatever so do me a favor right now if you want to record on your phone horizontally not vertically horizontally record a question for me send it over to my buddy Jay Tomsky at his Instagram I'll put it right down here at Jay Tomsky and he will actually take your questions and I'll answer them live on the vlog I just think it's gonna be a cool thing but we have tons of really amazing ideas that are gonna start to get implemented over the next weeks and months next up another beautiful clutch right here which one is this one bred to uh, this is a normal female bred to a pastel kingspin okay a pastel kingspin she's another cranky little mama oh it's okay mom it's gonna be okay so again that pastel kingpin has all kinds of stuff in it. it has pastel it has pinstripe it has lesser and it has spider in it and of course this girl whoa she almost got me all right we'll get those eggs before mama goes crazy here oh doggy come on mama it's okay sweetheart it's all right it's all right oh it's okay baby it's all right you're okay whoo she is crazy. We're definitely gonna have to take that one top of the egg off. I can't believe her, she's so nuts. How many eggs do we have in this clutch? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six beautiful eggs, all right. We'll get you back in there, mama, good job. Whoa! Yeah, and yeah, you guys remember the tipster, my drinking game? We have some really cool stuff coming up. So with any luck, we're gonna actually launch in June and then Bat 19's doing something in July and then hopefully a whole bunch of other YouTubers are gonna be doing some stuff. Not only can you, uh, if you're an adult, of course, drink some beer this way and you can go as long as you possibly want, but what's really cool is that Noah and Eric are probably gonna showcase this where you can do some really gross stuff in these and the challenge would be with chocolate milks mixed with orange juice mixed with high C or something like that, can you drink that? So it's gonna be really fun. Again, I'm excited about the tipster. Tipsterchallenge.com will be the website, so keep an eye on that. Again, if I'm lucky at all, we'll get this thing done and out sometime in June. For those of you that have been following along, uh, I hope that you'll enjoy it. And by the way, it is patent pended, so don't go try to steal my idea. Next up is obviously a spider ball python that has, whoa, gosh, what's, what's with all these moms today? They're all fighting. <laughs> They're nuts. Oh my gosh, so we have one egg out over there for sure. Come on, mom, you're okay. And what was she bred to? She was bred to a super pastel, black pastel, bamboo Voma. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff going on there. That is a lot of genes for sure. So this should be a really cool clutch. Oh my gosh, mama, it's okay. You're gonna be all right, mom. I'll help you out by getting this girl out of here get these eggs out here and it looks like again a beautiful clutch for sure there we go again a couple eggs just on the very top there that might not fit in here how many eggs in this clutch one two three four five six seven eight eight eggs so weird yesterday we had infertility we had about 50 percent fertility today 100 percent fertility so that just shows you the ups and downs of snake breeding i told you guys that yesterday regardless another amazing day kelsey thank you so much thank you You know, sometimes every now and then when I'm just walking by, a snake will kind of catch my eye and I'll just be like, oh my gosh, that thing is absolutely gorgeous. And I figured if it caught my eyes, I can at least share it with you guys. Of course, this is a beautiful bull snake. That's het for albino. I tell you, what, I love albino bull snakes. They're absolutely incredible. This is another one that caught my eye too. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is a mosaic California king snake. What a beautiful animal. And again, those mosaics is actually like a polygenic trait that we bred over years to just kind of make a really cool patterned animal. And the first ones we produced were probably like 15 years ago and we kind of termed them mosaic cow kings. And now it's kind of cool to see other people working the project as well. So that's an animal that looks great. So anyways, just want to take a quick break from all those updates to show you a couple cool snakes. 
for really getting going on the pre-production for the action adventure series that we'll be launching later this fall. And the first part of it is actually gonna be in Australia. We're gonna shoot a six part series. They're gonna probably be about 20 minutes long. It's gonna feel more like television on YouTube, but then we're gonna have six behind the scenes as well, where you guys can kind of follow along with what's going on. Just from whatever is going on to just, you know, issues, travel, what we're eating, all that type of stuff. So you guys are gonna get basically two a week. One of the actual series and one of the behind the scenes. I cannot wait to get this series launched. And if it goes well, we're gonna do one in Indonesia, South Africa, who knows where else, maybe South America, some in the United States, who knows? We'd love to do this every single week, 52 weeks of the year, if at all possible. But we gotta see how things go. So we're gonna kind of cut our teeth in Australia, doing some really amazing things. But I did need to know from you guys really quick. If I were to launch this, where should it actually live? Should it live on this vlog channel or maybe should I be on my old channel, Snake Bites TV? I'm not 100% sure. You're still gonna get the seven day a week vlog, so that's not gonna change at all. My question is, is should you get the seven day a week vlog and two extra videos on this channel or should we actually put it over on the Snake Bites TV channel? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you think will be the best thing. And I think it'll probably launch like Saturday afternoon. So you'll get the vlog in the morning, then Saturday afternoon you'll get this action adventure show, and then maybe Wednesday you'll get the behind the scenes. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Guys, can we talk a little business? Mind if I ask you what your opinion is of some business things? I hope that you guys by now realize that part of my job is to vlog and to do social media. I mean, it's kind of like you guys punching a clock at work. I do the same thing. I put tons and tons of hours in every day filming and editing and doing all the work that it takes to be a YouTuber, you know? So don't get me wrong. We get paid when you guys watch the ads and so on like that. So I'm not saying that it's not worth it because of course it is. But that being said, recently I've had quite a few brands that have reached out to me that would like me to do brand deals. I've done them before with Audible and Dollar Shave Club and stuff like that. But I want to ask you, is it okay if I do some more of these? I mean, I wouldn't do them like every week or something like that. But if once or twice a month I did a brand deal where I was kind of shouting out a brand that I believed in and I enjoyed their actual product and could pass on to you guys savings, would that be something you would be okay with? I don't want to make you guys be like, oh, Brian is just a sellout. All he cares about is money. But the truth is, is that this is my job. And just like you guys do your job, this is what I do as well, amongst other things, of course. But I really want to make sure it doesn't upset you guys. So do me a favor, down in the comments, tell me if you mind. I mean, when is too much too much? I mean, is twice a month too much if I end up giving you a minute long kind of brand deal? And again, if you support the brand that I support, you get a little bit of a deal and it helps me. So let let me know in the comments, is that okay for you guys? Or do you think that's a total no-go and you would prefer that not to happen? So uh, let me know, I would love to hear from you. And with that said guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Wish you guys an amazing day. Tell you guys I love you, be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.